so Tom, uh, good of yes. you to, to do this. Thank you for being my first interview guinea pig. <laughs> so the first question I would like to ask you is, yeah. um, uh, why have you uh, started eating differently? Well, the why, I was a look in the mirror, basically. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've been um, somewhat overweight ever since I left university uh, because I was a heavy beer drinker. And um, uh, and it showed, and um, uh, and I've gone up and down a few kilos over time. Uh, used to be pretty stable, and, uh, and then in the past few months, uh, so sort the of last half of last year, it was a bit. Uh, life was a bit more stressful, and apparently, it showed in number of kilos. And then early January, after the holidays, when I looked in the mirror in the morning, I uh, I, I was shocked uh, to realize that I uh, uh, found myself fat. And I looked flabby, and and I thought this has to change. So the trigger was to look in the mirror. Uh, Elmina, um, um, over the last few years, regular made because I'm a, a couple of years older than uh, Elmina is, and she made remarks along the lines of, uh, "I want you to stay healthy." Yeah. And um, so that's also part of the picture. Yeah. 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 So uh, how long have you been eating? Uh, I'm using the word eating differently rather than paleo because I think there's yeah. more to this than a fad diet. How long have you been eating different? Um, um, I, I started early January, right after the holidays. Um, um, so I started recording my weight on a daily basis on January 3rd, I see in my notes. And um, uh, and actually, it's been very easy, really. Um, I never was a big sweet tooth. Mm. Uh, mm. Um, so most of my carbohydrates were in pastas and bread and uh, that yeah. sort of thing. And I found it relatively easy, even fun, to uh, to uh, to do without them because uh, the fun part being that I really like to cook, and um, uh, so I had to become more creative in yeah. in, in in making my own dishes again. And um, uh, and because over time, on a weekly basis, you get sort of in a in a, in a cooking pattern. Oh, let's make this. Yeah. So you have like a like like a dozen or so dishes that you regularly make, and this. Uh, doing this uh, created the need to break out of that, uh, so that was actually good. Um, so I've been at, at it for what's that, ten, eleven weeks now, and um, lost about a kilo a week on average. Really? Yeah. So uh, all in all, it's now the middle of March. Uh, since yes. January, how much have you lost in total? Uh, January third, I weighed in at ninety-five kilos, and this morning is well, it was eighty-five. So that's 10 kilos. That's 20-something yeah. pounds. So yes. I've seen particular parts of your body change. <laughs> uh, well, well, my face got a lot uh, yeah. sort of you look uh, smaller. Um, uh, my belly is still there. I was kind of surprised because I thought, well, 10 kilos sounded like a lot at the mm. start. And I thought, well, by then, surely my belly will have gone. Uh, well, it, it shrunk, but it's still there. And uh, so what looked like a remote target... 10 kilos ago, mm. um, now seems like uh, only part of the way there. Mm. And, um, and none of my clothes fit anymore. <laughs> so that's a, that, that's a problem. And so, so we're now sort of debating here. So what's the right time to start buying new clothes? <laughs> um, um, but I, I think I, I at least will do another five kilos to see where it takes me. I think officially I should be around 75. Five to seventy-eight kilos for my height. Yeah. Uh, so that leaves another five to eight yes. kilos yes. Uh, to spare. Yeah. And um, and as long as I'm eating like this, I don't have any problems in keeping it up. Um, Are there any meals? In, many people here find breakfast the hard meal because in, in North oh no. America you'd you'd have cereal and bread and yeah, toast well, I, and muffins. Yeah, you, and my, my my normal breakfast would have been uh, bread with mm. some meat or, yeah. or cheese on it. Um, uh, but I find I can eat pretty much anything at any time of the day. Um, so sometimes I make in the morning what would pass as a, as a dinner yes. <laughs> uh, with cooked vegetables and, 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 and a piece of meat or something. Or it's just uh, some cheeses with tomatoes or I fry a couple of eggs or I, mean, um, or I eat some fish. Um, uh, I notice that I don't really care in the morning uh, whether it is 
uh, something that uh, others would think as uh, off as a breakfast. I mean, I can eat anything at any time of the day. What about so traveling? I found a little different. Yes, sometimes. yeah, that that was a challenge. <laughs> at least I thought it would be a big challenge. Um, I think the the the, um, uh, the the biggest challenge is actually because I, I weigh myself every day, and that gives me feedback on mm. on what is happening. Yeah. And um, uh, I travel quite a bit. And um, so when we went to Berlin for 10 days, I actually brought the scales. Oh. Because I decided I couldn't do without the daily feedback for mm. more than one and a half week. And um, so I'm kind of curious to see how it will be uh, in the coming months where I have a couple of shorter trips, like two days to Spain yes. or, or three days to, um, uh, to Bulgaria. And, um, and I will not be bringing the scales on the no. plane, I'm sure. Uh, You'll so, have to explain to the security uh, people. <laughs> yeah, so why do you need that? Yeah, so, so hand luggage only, and then come up with the skills. So, um, so I won't be taking it then. But mm. for the longer stays, uh, like the one in Berlin last month, I brought the scales, and um, uh, I also thought that eating out would be difficult. Uh, turns out that it isn't. De- of course, it depends on your choice of restaurant, yes. but overall, it's pretty easy. Um, uh, you may have to hunt on the menu to find something that doesn't yeah. obviously in, in, incorporate a lot of yeah. carbohydrates. But other than that, it's been pretty pretty doable. Um, uh, going to Berlin, the hardest part for me was staying away from beer, <laughs> that being yeah, Germany. I, I, think that, I really like wheat beer, yeah. uh, and, and I really love uh, the various types of yes. beer. And, um, uh, but I also like a lot of wine. And uh, or and so I rediscovered <laughs> wines. Actually, uh, did away with the beer, and and uh, and while in Germany, started exploring the German wines. Uh, one one other change that I noticed mm. during during the day is that I feel more awake, uh, in the sense that I don't have the after lunch or after dinner dips, uh, where all your energy is drained because your intestines are busy uh, yeah. uh, uh, spending energy on 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 processing all the stuff that, that you ate. And, uh, and that falls away. And the other thing is that I can stand being hungry better than I used to be. I would get grumpy quite easily mm-hmm. when I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. And now I can more easily decide um, I'll, I'll eat something in 45 minutes or in an hour because that's better fitting my schedule or whatever. Fantastic. Yeah, so um, yeah. And, and the, those, both those things were things that really surprised me. Mm-hmm. It, uh, but I don't exercise at all. Um, never have basically see that's what I find very interesting the conventional wisdom is we've all got to be exercising like mad yeah but I also already years ago calculated that the amount of calories that you actually burn exercising make no difference whatsoever Mm. and so you always use that as an argument to not exercise because (laughs) I said well you can calculate it it doesn't help at all if you want to lose weight so why bother Well, Tom, thank you very much indeed. Um, and, you're welcome. Um, it's a great gift you're giving all of us, your story. Thanks. I'm okay, still- good. Um, <laughs> thank you.